Experts are thrilled about the reported safety and effectiveness of two COVID-19 vaccines rolling out across the country. But they remain concerned about what still could go wrong to shake the public's fragile faith in it. Nearly everything about the process has gone well so far, shepherded by the Trump administration's Operation Warp Speed. The first two vaccines, one from Pfizer-BioNTech and the other from Moderna, were ready well before anyone expected. Trials showed them to be among the most effective vaccines ever, particularly for a notoriously hard-to-prevent respiratory virus. And the initial days of the rollout, while far from perfect, have already led to 3 million vaccinations in the U.S., mostly among frontline health care workers. Federal officials expect 20 million doses to be manufactured and available for shipping by early January, another 30 million doses by the end of that month, and 50 million more by the end of February. Vaccines should become available for the general public as soon as late February or early March, according to Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar. In interviews with USA Today over the past several days, a dozen vaccine experts were more guarded. Most believe vaccines won't become widely available until late spring or early summer, assuming no production problems and the authorization of two additional vaccines by sometime in February. The federal government should under-promise and over-deliver, advised panel member Dr. Kelly Moore, Associate Director of Immunization Education at the Immunization Action Coalition, a nonprofit that distributes information about vaccines and the diseases they prevent. Projecting concrete dates that we cannot know risks setting the public up for needless frustration and disappointment, she said. The panel members' concerns mainly revolve around what will happen before vaccines are widely available. They worry the public could lose faith in the vaccine because of more allergic reactions like those already seen a few times or some other symptom, whether it's actually linked to the vaccine or not. And they're concerned about potential glitches in distribution or any of the thousands of other things that could go awry with such a complex scientific, logistical and political process. Areas of particular concern, Moore said, include unpredictable supply issues, storage and handling failures resulting in vaccine waste, and all sorts of data management and data sharing challenges resulting from the use of several new IT systems. Every month, members of USA Today's expert panel gauge the progress of COVID-19 vaccines by choosing the time on an imaginary clock that began at midnight with the discovery of the virus in early 2020 and ends at noon, when a vaccine is freely available across the U.S. each month, we calculate the median time, the midpoint of their estimates. In June, that was 4 a.m. by October, the sun had risen and their consensus fell at 8 a.m.